Parental discretion is advised. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Want to have your business or podcast featured on the show? Contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. Subject line, advertising. Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter's Wrestling Mayhem Show 482, live from the Mayhem Studios here in Pittsburgh, PA. And we're ready to talk some professional wrestling, WWE, Lucha Underground, whatever that case may be, with me uh, from the underbowels of the uh, of the uh, Pittsburgh uh, Three Rivers, Bunkin' with Sawtooth is DJ Lunchbox. How you doing? What's up, everybody? What the fuck is going on? Awesome, awesome. Also with us from from Floodtown, USA, from Johnstown, Pennsylvania, about two hours away. He joined us at Chachi Place for Kids this past weekend, did you? It's Bobby FJ Town. I was draped in bubble wrap, and it was one of the best moments of my life. It was. You can see video and pics of that over at ChachiPlays.com and on the Facebook. Also with us from Pelkips in New York, it is Mad Mike, former employee of a WWE Sorgatron, you have failed this podcast. Oh, we'll get into that. I've so failed a lot of things in my life, including this. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, this is your Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can find out more at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You subscribe to this and other shows that we do on your iTunes, on YouTube, YouTube, all kinds of video and audio formats you can do that at. You can also drop us a line at 412-206-WMS0 or that email address at Good times at WrestlingMamShow.com. You can also, while you're at it, join us here live every Tuesday about 9 p.m. Eastern Time at Live.SorgatronMedia.com or Live. Live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Also, give a shout out to our friend, intro and outro music by Basic Sickness. So check out his Thank free music over at Bas- BasicSickness.com. And you can support the show, Patreon.com. On your wide taint. Slash Wrestling Mayhem Show, like our good friends, the Wrestling Revolution.com. Zero over there, longtime supporter from the beginning, and also a long time, a good friend of the show. Mo- Diggity! Woo! Woo! thank you so much supporting the show a long time and uh and uh we hope that you will too they get some uh extras gold state of the mayhem etc and they get names on the show that i could say any way that they want me to and you can get so many more perks and as we uh go there uh, we'll have some upgrades to the show and i'm, I'm working out we're, we're gonna work out like some of those steps uh so we can aim for something like maybe hiring somebody to bring me coffee because I need some right now. Uh, no, better stuff than that. So let's get into the stories of the week. Uh, let's uh, first of all, we got Mad Mike on on here. We got a representative from PanelRiot.com. Uh, we need to make sure we talk about uh, Steve Amell popping up on Raw last night. It's been a little bit. Well, okay, it's been since WrestleMania since we've had some celebrity interaction on this level. I love that WWE is getting back to this and making it more meaningful than just a Raw guest host position uh we're getting it at wrestlemania we're getting it at the wrestlemania of the summer as they're trying to uh it seems to 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 get this to uh with SummerSlam, uh, steve amell arrow guy that does his own stunts is going to be in a wrestling ring i know some people are a little bit against this as we've talked about and we're not going to say ill things of the fans and uh co- co-hosts of other podcasts uh in the chat <laughs> During this part of the segment, <laughs> Mike. Um, but in the meantime, uh, uh, I think everybody here, I, I, I would think, is pretty stoked about this. At der- general, general levels of geekdom, I think we've assembled the comic nerdum uh, panel of the Wrestling Mayhem show. Mad Mike, you're the one that I can tell as I keep expanding this out to make this segment go longer. And I see you vibrating in the corner of the screen because uh, I know you want to freaking say something. <laughs> flash. Flash vibrates. <laughs> Mad Mike, yeah. he's doing the dance what, what do you think of this i think it's awesome i think if john stewart could wrestle he would be Stephen amell <laughs> because they're both what? two they're both huge super fans of it like Stephen amell went to comic-con and interrupted his own signing to go talk to sting because he's that big of a fan wow. i think the fact that he does his own stunts 
Um, as we saw him raw, he he clearly looks comfortable in the ring. At least, you know, based on whatever he's been doing. I mean, if, if you've seen one episode of Arrow, you know the dude's in shape. He's in shape and he's better in shape than anyone tough enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, no, and, wait. So not ZZ. Especially ZZ. Oh, I want to see that fight. <laughs> I want to see that fight. Uh, no, it's it's not Arrow that fights Crocodiles. It's Batman. Um, but, yeah, I think it's going to be fun. I... I don't mind that they put him in a tag match because it, you know, limits what he has to do and everything. And it's basically going to be like some work for him. And he does really well at that. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And it'll get some new eyes in SummerSlam because he has a huge social media presence, especially on Facebook. He has tons and tons of fans. And I'm pretty sure not all of them are wrestling fans. Mm-hmm. Certainly. So, I mean, it, it, I think it's good for WWE. It's going to be great. Every Certainly. month of the network gets people in get them hooked mm-hmm. bobby what do you think about this um i think it's good um uh, i kind of disagree with uh mike about the tag team match i think it's good that he's in the tag team match uh i think did you say you, oh no i said it was good oh okay i, okay. Good. I thought you said it, it wasn't good that he was in the tag team match but yeah i think i think it's good that he's in the tag team match because um uh, he's not the focal point you know and if he if he does make a mistake Something like that. It could be easily covered up, which, which mm-hmm. not saying he's going to make a mistake because he's a trained stuntman and an actor. Uh, well, but I mean, uh, I, I, mean I, I think there's a lot to kind of give the, uh, uh, you know, he's a stuntman, so he's a closer to a wrestler than, than most people mm-hmm. that get in there. I, I give you that. I, I don't want to automatically, oh, he's a stuntman. Of course he can do wrestling. That, I mean, but still, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it I mean, still gives some a little more credibility in going into it. And, and plus, wasn't uh, Mike or, or Will or, or, or LB? What's your name on the show? Um, <laughs> what, wasn't there some word that, you know, again, being a really big wrestling fan, as, as mentioned, uh, isn't there something about, wasn't there word that he might have been training for a good while here before we heard about this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he, he, he keeps in amazing shape anyway. Uh, like, I mean, like Mike said, he, he does his own stunts and everything like that. If, if there's any, anybody on these superhero shows that is qualified to do this and hang with the uh, superstars in the WWE whose lives are essentially performing and then working out and then performing and then working out. Uh, I think Stephen Amell is uh, is the one to do it. I don't see the guy playing Flash jumping in the ring anytime soon. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> no, yeah. no, 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 no. But I mean, uh, Stephen Amell is also going to be in Ninja Turtles too, mm-hmm. and so is Sheamus. Mm-hmm. When they filmed the first confrontation with Stardust, that was after the filming for Ninja Turtles two had been done. Or mm-hmm. was at least mostly done. So he could have even been working out with Seamus, like if they knew that they wanted to make this a thing. Because he's been saying on social media for a while that he wanted to be a part of WWE, like he wanted to be at least a guest host, maybe do something. So I think this has been the works for a while. Are we getting into a really interesting spot here where I like I still think I've been I've been telling people as 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 we as as They've we, this conversation has come up over John Stewart over the last week, uh, leaving the Daily Show, departing from that. I, I I keep saying, don't be surprised if you see a show on WWE Network involving John Stewart. Really, he's already on there. He's on the WWE list. That doesn't count for one thing. No, I mean a show like they did with Jerry Springer, um, like oh, okay. something to that effect. There's they can get any celebrity on the list if they happen to be there. Hey, go sit in front of the green screen, and answer some questions, and eh, we'll use it somewhere. Um, and that's how those shows happen, <laughs> right? Um, so, 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 I, I, no, I, I'm saying I think he's going to actually do something with WWE. Uh, as my hope and my thought on, on that. Uh, so, so. And I got lost from that transition. Uh, I, but I no, wish no, no, no. We're, the new GM. we're at a certain point here where we have Stephen Amell, we have John Stewart that are into this, completely into this, just want to be a part of this. And I feel like Ronda Rousey's in a very similar spot as well. You know, John, I don't put John Ronda- Stewart also a Green Lantern, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. He's right. He's right. John, there is a Green Lantern named John. Sorry, Stewart. sorry. I didn't mean to. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Um. Anyways, but but we're at WWE. this. I mean, this is so new. If, if Jay Leno can grab a wrist lock on Hulk Hogan and make it look like death, we can have the Green Arrow punch start. Man, I really face. can't can't accept anything along those lines that you just mentioned concerning the champion was also David Arquette. But anyways, um. Yeah. 
I mean, I mean, WWE is a little smarter about it. The point I was getting to, uh, Ronda Rousey, I feel like is there on a different level than like what Floyd Mayweather was, right? I feel like mm-hmm. I feel like you know Rousey wants to be there uh, versus Mayweather probably wanted a paycheck, right? Uh, you know, I, I I feel like there's there's a genuine uh, uh, want to be involved in pro wrestling when it comes to Amel Rousey and and Stewart um, and Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson and, oh, too, Mike, oh like certainly that. Mike Tyson. Holy crap! Yep. You know that, that 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 guy. That guy. I mean, I. A threatening guy that just turns into a little kid when he sees DX and gets to do the chop. I mean, that that's just the beautiful, beautiful thing. Like seeing Mike Tyson get excited about wrestling is like seeing that John Cena kid I talked about a few weeks ago at WWE Live get excited when John Cena comes out. Okay, same thing. Just delighted in the eyes of a childlike wonder. That was Will, right? <laughs> that was me. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was me. <laughs> just garbed out in all of his you can't see me towel and merchandise and armbands and whatever kids not even sweating i it wasn't need sweatbands for but anyways um but no no but seriously I, I i think there could be something cool with any of those getting more involved in some some case uh I, none of them are going to get i think 100 percent involved except for i want to say maybe john stewart because what else is he going to do rosewater too <laughs> He's I mean, going to take some time off. Oh, I think oh, we won't see anything certainly. from John Stewart for a couple of years at least. Yeah. I mean, he worked his balls off for 14 years on The Daily Show. Yeah, yeah. But but yeah. I, th- I still think this is kind of a passion project. If he did something, it's not going to be as heavy lifting as The Daily Show. Did you see the mm. walkthrough? We're off on another talk, but you see the walkthrough yeah. of, of oh, The yeah, Daily yeah, Show yeah, office. That was really I had cool. no idea there was that many people behind that show. Like mm-hmm. it, that's just mind blowing to me that, that that's how that comes together. Um, and even, you know, knowing a little bit of production, that it's like, Oh, that many people do that. Wow. Um, uh, to go to something where it's like, no, no, John, just do this thing. We'll have these guys take care of it. You just be John Stewart. You know what I mean? Um, I, I think, or even just a short thing, he's not doing a daily show type thing, but he's doing maybe, maybe once a month he does a special, maybe he starts a podcast. I could, I could see him eventually doing like a sports center thing for WWE. Could you imagine a a Tuesday Night Titans with Jon Stewart? <laughs> what? That would be fun. I mean, I mean that that would be a blast, right? I mean, Jon Stewart and the Miz. Yes. Yes. Jon well, Stewart wait, 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 and the Miz. Because no, you, no, no, you no. Need, like, true. True. So the wait, wait. So cheap. are you telling me Miz would be the Lord Alfred Hayes? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> When my hand goes up, your your mouth goes shut. It was paid for by the following. That could be fun. That could be a lot of fun. Somebody that can improv like the Miz. And Miz is probably one of the best best at it. Um, although he doesn't do well with Paige and Daniel Bryan so much. Uh, but anyways, there's that. I, I feel like WWE in general has been killing it with uh, with celebrity guest stars lately. Mm-hmm. Because for a long time they had um, they were they were doing the the whole guest GM thing. It, it you know, varying degrees of success, but none of them were like, yeah, that was fucking awesome. Except for Hugh Jackman, but everything he does is awesome. Hey, you and guys Bob remember? Barker. And Bob Barker. No, and Bob Barker felt uncomfortable. Kathy Lee and Hoda. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Bobby. Oh, wine bottle on my ass. Um, <laughs> this can week, we get, but, well, the, side the, note, can the, we get a special, the best and worst of Raw GMs, like on the oh, network gosh. at some point? <laughs> I, 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 think, that, that's, I think, yeah. That has to be a WWE list or something. Sorry, but sorry. Like the, the, it's okay. The, the interactions they've been having lately, they feel more natural. They feel more uh, more involved than just I'm just here for a night. You know what I mean? Like the uh, like the Ronda Rousey stuff and like the Stephen Amell stuff. And, and there was a third person who I was going to give an example, but I forgot who they are. Certainly. Buzz certainly. Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin, no. I took a rocket to the moon. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> one of my all-time favorite guests <laughs> but it, it, it makes me happy because you can't induct pete rose into the celebrity wing of the hall of fame every year you know what i mean yeah they're yeah. they're cultivating new celebrities which is good <laughs> they're annexing new celebrities <laughs> to rise up to the roster <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> so so you know um <laughs> So, Freddie Prince Jr. is going to resurrect his career at NXT, and um, <laughs> hey, that's another thing. don't forget hey. about that. Hey. I, 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 hey, I Freddie Prince Jr. does a great job in Dragon Age as the bull. Oh yeah, Don't you, know, you speak ill of Freddie you know, Prince. You know <laughs> what I happened to put on because it was on, and I've actually never played the game so much, so I don't know why I thought watching the movie was good. Wing Commanders on Netflix. 
<laughs> it felt like some strange prequel to Scooby Doo. I couldn't really put it together. Scooby Doo. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Was, she still wearing, okay. was she still wearing the ascot? <laughs> ascot in spurs. Anyways, on that note, let us know what you think about celebrities in WWE. In the meantime, hey, I understand there's a new website out there for you guys to get all of your indie wrestling fix. That place is IndieWrestling.us. You can get the Legend of Virgil and his traveling merchandise table. You can get the latest releases from the Renegade Wrestling Alliance, Vicious Outcast Wrestling, and the International Wrestling Cartel, as well as some best of classics of, of, of prime wrestling, including DJ Zima Ion, formerly Shima Zion, <laughs> Mac Ross, somebody that looks like Son of Havoc, uh, and so much more. Go over to IndieWrestling.us, follow us on social media, on the Instagrams, on the YouTubes, on the Facebooks, on the Twitters. There will be sales all night long. If you're joining us live, you're going to be able to go over there with the, with the uh, coupon code Grand Opening and get 15% off any title in the store. There will be... And, and if you're late to the party and getting this podcast later, watch the Twitters, watch the Instagrams, because there will be a lot. And we're going to have some fun stuff. We're going to have some video clips. We're going to have some uh, imagery and, and and just about our, 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 our favorite indie wrestling. And, uh, of course, we're uh, there's, there's new stuff being added all the time, so stay tuned there. And uh, IndieWrestling.us. Sign up for the mailing list you get a free digital download yay indywrestling.us so with that as i left the graphic up during that uh let's go to uh so lucha underground i understand is uh they're done i did not catch up We're, uh, <laughs> i'm still in may so don't worry about spoiling me i understand vampiro is still badass that pleases you need me to catch up that that warms my heart to know that know that uh vampiro gets uh pretty crazy here and uh oh, so so ultimate lucha happened i know you guys talked about it on the show last week i did not catch up with that either um, i'm bad about these things lately uh but the news is they we don't know when we'll get lucha on our televisions again uh who has the skinny on this what are the rumors what are the speculation and uh how do you feel in that empty place in your heart where uh, a vampiro soul should be well uh by all accounts it looks like there is going to be a second season Mm -hmm. um it's just right now they're not sure when they're going to be taping Mm -hmm. or where where (laughs) or uh how to get the extra funding for it and i think those are the real key things right now Uh, one of the producers did a, a reddit ama about it that's cool and he just broke it down he's like uh but it, there is a season two coming, just probably not until early next year, which is fine because they treat it like a series of a show anyway. So it's like they're taking an off. It's like they're having an off season, which is something that we've said wrestlers probably need, regardless of the company. Like mm-hmm. if people should be taking time off. I mean, granted, most of these guys are going to be working indie dates and everything, but um, the way they ended Lucha was perfect to set up for season two they Mm -hmm. like they have a to be continued thing they have the lucha underground with a question mark on it um they said that's not a trolling thing they said there is definitely going to be a season two they just don't know when it's going to be yet so i I just hope we get a dvd or something on netflix or something like that like i want to be able to binge the whole thing again i i heard that was that, that might be one of the ways they generate money is either Netflix or Hulu or selling it to a different network Ooh, to air yeah. it, That'd be great. Uh, which would be amazing because more people would be able to see it. You know, that yeah, can't it, hurt at all. <laughs> I mean, the uh, I think El Ray also already has some kind of deal with Netflix because the um, uh, from Dust Till Dawn series is on there. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I think hopefully they can try and broker maybe some kind of similar deal of that where we can actually binge watch the whole thing because i know i binge watch lucha again it was fantastic mm-hmm. like if you get it cut down without the commercials and everything oh it's perfect i don't i'd also like maybe if they released separate dvds of like the vignettes strung together in a whole story i think that'd be fun kind of like the uh side stories of the watchmen yeah exactly I'll be down with that. I'll be down with that. I'm hoping it comes back. So, I mean, I, I, I think we can pretty much say the, the experiment was a success. I'm concerned mm-hmm. that they say, well, we still need to get funding. So was this not a success in the eyes of El Rey? Or is it just that's just El Rey doesn't have money for this? El Rey just doesn't have the money. They okay. loved it. Yeah. Yeah. They loved the show. Um, 
there were people saying like they spent twenty million dollars. The one guy on AM, on Reddit said that uh, they they didn't spend that much. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's just out of El Rey. They price. didn't spend twenty million. Yeah, it, it, it's just <laughs> out of it's, out, it's out of El or, uh, El Rey's price range, and uh, to film in L.A. is very expensive. So oh, that's yeah. why they're kind of trying to move it out of L.A. But and I also noticed uh, there's. The only originals they have are Lucha Underground, Dust Till Dawn, and there was a third one, uh, the director's chair, which is that's the, yeah. what an interview show or something, right? Mm-hmm. And everything mm-hmm. else is what they what do they do like movies? Oh, I, grindhouse I movies, the kung fu flicks. Really, it's yeah. grindhouse movies. Man, I kind of wish I had this network. Or yeah, at least I like, the, that one. Oh, right like now called horror, iconic TV. So it's all like kind of reruns and old movies, right? Which is going to be super super cheap for you to run a network on. So, mm-hmm. but it's still, I think it's something like. Lucha Underground, it's something like uh, uh, From Dust Till Dawn that kind of brings attention to the channel to begin with. Ah, man, I really hope that it works out for them. Um, for Well, one for El Rey, because I love the concept of the channel. I absolutely adore the concept of the channel, that, that Robert Rodriguez gets his own channel. That's like that's like Kevin Smith getting his own channel, right? I don't know what the heck would be on <laughs> Kevin Smith's channel. It would be... Uh, um. Sork, have you listened to his podcast network? Okay, I have an idea what would be on his channel. Okay, (laughs) I get it. I know. What network do you guys see this being a good fit for? Um, I was thinking, I know that Spike TV just got rid of TNA, but I think Lucha Underground would have been a better fit for Spike TV than TNA was. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it went on Telemundo. Well, it's already showing on one of the Spanish channels. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah, it's like on Saturday afternoons. AMC. Oh yeah, AMC. Yeah, actually, I can see. Yeah, yeah. AMC had a lot of shows. No, no, no. (laughs) AMC had a lot of shows in the works until they just canned everything reality. Yeah. So it was nothing against wrestling. What's that? Which is smart because I mean we a long time reached. uh, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Maximum max, maximum capacity or whatever Quota. for reality shows. Have we? See this shit anymore. Have we? Really? They, they, they're falling off? Because I thought it was always, for what they got out of it, it was always super cheap to make these. Yeah, it's it's super um, it's super cheap to, uh, to produce reality shows, but the numbers are steadily going down and oh, down okay. and down. And when you're a, a network that's producing shows like Breaking Bad and Walking Dead, mm-hmm. why would you put your money anywhere else? Right, right. Well, I think I think money wise, I, I think it is again that 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 gamble of this versus this, you know. So, mm-hmm. but it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Oh, and Mad Men and Mad Fuck that Mad Men too. Fucking AMC, man. <laughs> that's incredible. American movie classics. Good yeah. for those guys. Right, right. They I think that I, work. Well, I think your computer accidentally searched for something. What's the what's the Cortana uh, automatic uh, uh, voice thing? Because it just like popped up, like because I'm not talking to you, I'm. Not, it doesn't mean I'm not. It just popped up over your face and Bing. What What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, never like mind. On the on the computer that you're running on the computer you're running on has Windows 10 and it has one of those Hey Google kind of things. <laughs> And now my computer just randomly does Bing searches over your face. There's another one from earlier. What the hell? What the hell's going on here? What was the one from earlier? I don't know. I don't know. I closed it. Solomon Crow is hacking the show. I just, I just see random Bings and I get angry. I like un, un, uncomfortably angry. Uh, okay, let us know what she... I, well, and also, the word is, by the end of the year, uh, 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 Destination America is going to be without wrestling. Oh, um, no. Right. By said by the end of September. Really? The rumor sort. What, yeah. is, how, what is happening? Is it, what well, is, how, well, Destination America, they, they they put their money on the wrong horse. They put their money on like multiple. They put their their money they on put a stable their money on the horse they could get. Yeah, yeah, the two of them how, that they could get. How will we only uh, get by with Bigfoot and barbecue shows? <laughs> anyways, and ghosts. I would love to see a ratings breakdown of every single one of their programs. <laughs> I really want to know how that network's doing and uh, uh, what's working for them. First, you got your deep fried master, then you got your barbecue TNA. master, then you got your bigfoot masters, then you got your ghost masters. As far as I know, TNA has not broken five hundred thousand viewers. Oof. On okay, any episode. Sure, but what did they expect? The last I knew, they've been still making records for that network. Has anything broken five hundred thousand viewers on that network? Barbara, I don't masters. know. <laughs> I don't know, but 
Garbage. I think they. I think for how much TNA cost, they expected more, because All it's right. like they were pulling in like a million. Well, Ooh, Bassmasters. We'll see what's going on there uh, uh, with everything, but let us know what you think of these uh, coming up. Hey, uh, Slice on Broadway. There are our friends over at SliceOnBroadway.com down here in the South Hills of Pittsburgh. Go check them out. They supported Chachi Plays this uh, past weekend with a couple pizzas, giving some grub. So I had my first slice on Broadway. That's pizza, right, pizza. Bobby. You had your first slice on Broadway. How was it? It was amazing. I was so happy. I had pizza in my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> you can go check them out there in the South Hills of Pittsburgh and Beachview, as well as Carnegie, PA. And uh, follow them on social media, PGH underscore Slice, on the Twitters, as well as uh, uh, on the Facebooks and on the Instagrams as well. Now let's take a look at what happened last week on Sorgatron Media, and we'll be right back. It makes it, that, it, makes it much harder to strategize which cards you use. Uh, another big change to Angry Birds 2 is now you have five lives and a timer until you get more lives, unless you pay. My my dad talked to Roddy and he's like, he he said that it was a uh, really great getting to see like someone who my dad grew up watching a little bit of and how my dad was able to connect to me through pro wrestling. And Roddy was like, oh yeah, man, that he, he was like, that's really awesome. It's really great that we can bring like families together and he talked about his son who he was bringing up through wrestling and everything. Hey guys, we're back. Check out that so many other things at sorgatronmedia.com from that that week, next week and the current week. Uh so let's get on with the big question. Um, Pop a lunchbox. I missed you last week. I mean, I mean, Matt oh, Mike thanks, had buddy. had a really good question. I, don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. And, but uh, but we missed uh, the vocal stylings in a question form of DJ Lunchbox. I appreciate that, Sorg. That's uh, it's very kind of you to say. It's good good to be missed. But this week, I've got something for you. You ready mm-hmm. for this? Mm-hmm. You ready for this? So mm-hmm. so John Cena broke his face, right? Oh shit. Oh, no. uh, and, uh, you know, there's discussion of, you know, what, uh, what are they going to do if he can't compete at SummerSlam against, uh, against Seth Rollins and everything like that. Um, and it got me to thinking, it got me to thinking about, um, what, uh, what, uh, what was the, the match that they were t- kicking around? It was like Randy Orton and Sheamus and someone yeah. else that makes you want to throw up something sharp up Seth Rollins is good. Um, back in the day. When that kind of thing would happen, they would turn to one of the greatest WWE superstars of all time, Edge. Edge was the go-to guy. A lot of his title runs came from the fact that, oh, somebody got caught with drugs. Oh, somebody got caught uh, with uh, 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 not drugs. They got hurt. Someone got hurt. <laughs> somebody got caught with other drugs. <laughs> Someone got Rukal with drugs because they were hurt. Um, then Edge was the go-to guy, right? Um, money in the bank title defenses, so on and so forth, all that fun stuff. So my question is, because there is no longer an Edge. There is no more Edge here in the WWE. So who's the go-to guy now? That's not right. That's not – I meant to phrase that. Guy. Who who should be the go-to guy for title runs when people get injured? And – Second part of the question, unprecedented. Who should it absolutely not be? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I got Randy this. Orton. <laughs> I got this. I got this. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think we, well, I think we all just just agreed on Randy Orton. Uh, but uh, <laughs> it uh, absolutely never be Randy Orton. Your go-to guy? I'm going to no, disagree with one. you on I Randy got, Orton. Yeah, I got one. Seth, I'm going to disagree with you on Randy Orton, but I'll wait for my turn. Yeah, me too. Seth Rollins is your new go-to guy. Seth Rollins is your new utility guy. Seth Rollins is your new edge. Seth Rollins is going to do it. He's a technician. He's perfect. He, uh, I think he has taken on every situation with stride. Um, he carries the show every week. The gum? He does. He carries the show every week. That's significant. Stop messaging me. Um, sorry. Sorry. Somebody's drunk. Uh, he carries the show every week. Who should it not be? Who should it absolutely not be? Wade Barrett. Oh, Sorg. Oh, he's right. Kick a man while he's down. Sorg's right. Tell us why, Sorg. 
Uh, one injury prone. Uh, two not proven. I don't. I, I don't know. He. I could have picked a lot of people on this one, but he's a guy that we were like, why hasn't he gotten to the thing? And there's a lot of reasons why he hasn't gone to the thing. I. I'm a fan of Wade Barrett. Don't get me wrong. When he's on a roll, he's freaking amazing. But um, I'm afraid if he gets that top spot. <laughs> He'll turn into what are you laughing at? So what you're saying, you're afraid you have some bad news. <laughs> you start off with "I'm afraid," and I thought you were going to go into it. <laughs> Bobby, can we get some decorum here? <laughs> wow. Uh, but Sorry. No. Right. 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 Uh, but no, I don't think he. I just don't think he would. Uh, I. I don't think he's a top guy. I don't think he's going to be a top guy. I think he's going to be. I don't think he's been a great middle guy for a while. Um, and it's unfortunate because he's had good points. Like, this is a guy that should be Cesaro. Mm -hmm. Okay? This guy should be Cesaro and has not been unable to step up with it. So, um, for a while, he was Cesaro because Cesaro was down on the card, too. That's right. <laughs> that's right. But look what's happening now. Uh, Which? Uh, who, who, who wants to go next? I'll right, go I, next. Oh, sorry. no, you got it, Bobby. I'm probably going to take yours, huh? Maybe. Which, mine segue is great for what Sorg said, because I'm going to say Cesaro would be the great one to take over uh, for anybody who needs God to be. damn it! I'm sorry. No, I'm kidding. It wasn't mine. It wasn't okay. Mine. Okay. And, and uh, he, he's the best. He's the best. All right. Never, 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 never. <laughs> and the person to absolutely not take over, you guys know this from me. I'm going to say what uh, Mr. Hooven said at Chachi Plays this week. <laughs> stupid, 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 stupid. Uh, Ryback. Ryback is, is – uh, don't know. No, like, Ryback. <laughs> that, yeah. Okay. okay. Reads okay. from teleprompter. What about you, Mike? Um, I, I wasn't going to say Cesaro. I don't think he's quite there yet. He's starting to get a lot of personality, and that's good. He needs yeah, sustainability nice on that. Um, I think if you have a go-to guy, and I know someone in, specific, in particular is going to love this answer, I think it's got to be Dean Ambrose. Yeah. Because mm. you, Dean Ambrose is a guy that can wrestle a bunch of different kinds of matches. Like he can he can work the Big Show, and he can work Seth Rollins, and he can work Neville, and they'll all be different matches. They'll all be fun to watch. Uh, he's mm. popular as hell. He's finally got a nice T-shirt. <laughs> He finally has a nice T-shirt. He, he's a, a, he's a big merch seller. He's good on the mic. Um, like when Daniel Bryan went out, uh, Dean Ambrose would slide right into a feud with Seth Rollins again. And I, I think Dean Ambrose is kind of like when Roman Reigns needed help, they bring in Dean Ambrose because Dean Ambrose will get Roman Reigns over. And Roman is more comfortable when he can be the punctuation of a sentence that Dean Ambrose starts. Um who it absolutely should not be, and I'm probably going to catch some heat for this, but Dolph Ziggler. Well, there's at least one person in the chat yeah. I'm going to be mad. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think it should be Dolph Ziggler. I think Dolph as a heel, it could that could work. But Dolph in this current incarnation, it, 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 there's just some guys who don't work well as faces. Chris Jericho is one of those guys. Dolph Ziggler is one of those guys. Dolph Ziggler, like, Randy Orton's one of those guys. He's a horrible face. Mm -hmm. He is a dog shit horrible face. I Dolph Ziggler say dog is shit. He's, he's, he's bland, is my take. Yeah. Dolph can't even keep track of his own Instagram account. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I oh, still think topical. he didn't get hacked. Um, <laughs> I just think that was him. He just had a bad um, night. His password was one, two, three, four, five. He deserved it. That's the kind of password an idiot would have on his luggage. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Bobby! You beat me to it. Um, yeah, but uh, I mean, and you're. I love Dolph Ziggler. I do. He's a phenomenal talent. I was there when he cashed in Money in the Bank, but he's not a go-to guy. He's a guy that should be getting a legitimate push. But he's not a go-to guy. He's not a guy you can turn to and say, hey, save the show. He can steal it. He can't save it. Okay. <laughs> okay. What about you, LB? Well, I've had some time to think about this uh, while you gentlemen have been talking. Um, and uh, I came to a conclusion that shocks even myself. <laughs> 
Uh oh. Really? John Cena. John Cena. The good John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, all right. So, uh, the go to guy when all the top WWE championship people are out should be Randy Orton. What? Now, here's why. Okay, so. Orton is not – aside from when he punches the mat too hard and hurts his wrist, he's not terribly injury-prone, right? <laughs> no, no more. Are you, are you hearing voices he in your me. head? <laughs> <laughs> he, the, he has – the fans, for whatever reason, still really like him. He gets a great reaction when he comes out, right? The casual – not the casual fans. I mean the fans that like – the fans that love John Cena love Randy Orton for whatever reason, okay? And then you have the more vocal majority – us who hate him like poison <laughs> and we'll tune in every single week to see when he's going to lose that title. We want him to lose that title and we're going to watch for it to happen. It's so strange because the matches would be terrible, just absolutely awful. He hung in there. I, in that I was going to say, but, I want to point out, this is coming from the guy who saw Randy Orton was in the main event and decided to go to sleep last night. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's exactly. That's like, exactly right. We're going to watch, and clearly, <laughs> he didn't watch. To be but honest, though, he one. wasn't he wasn't that bad in that triple threat, but that was more Owens and Cesaro, though. Yeah, but, yeah. It's 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 strange, but it's it's got to be Randy Orton. Uh, and who should it absolutely not be? Um, uh, I could list any number of people, but, uh, I'm going to say, um, El shit, Torito. El Torito. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 uh, Seamus because, uh, Seamus is not great and not reliable. He doesn't have a fan following. People aren't going to want to tune in to watch him do anything. I mean, they gave him one of the most interesting things that they have right now, and that's the Money in the Bank contract, and nobody gives a shit. The Money in the Bank briefcase got more over hitting Roman Reigns in the back of the head than it did with Sheamus. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So that's my answer. Randy Gordon and Sheamus. So you must love their feud now. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't get it, don't get it twisted. Uh, <laughs> tornado of awfulness. <laughs> yes. All right, uh, we got uh, at least one from the chat room here. Actually, a couple mainstream Matt says should be the Miz can talk and rep WWE well and could be hated. Uh, I I agree with that one. I, I don't yeah. I, I don't know what I, I, it is that he's fallen out of favor. I thought he did a tremendous job when he had to strap, but you know, uh, shouldn't be Big Show. Agreed. Uh, Big Show got angry this week. Though. You awesome. know what? If Big Show's an angry heel, though, yeah. he's mm-hmm. a company man, and he is someone who works his ass off. We may not like his matches, but he's someone who will do. Well, that's the thing. He needs to be need. a guy. Mm-hmm. He needs to be Rusev. He needs to you know, like if he just like out of nowhere gets a belt because they're crawling in. He needs to just destroy people for like several months. And and but then I'm afraid if you do it at that point, then the belt becomes secondary, and hope you have something more interesting happening with like say I don't Seth Dean White something. Cena somewhere else, you know what I mean? Um, like he can't be the top bill unless you got something really interesting. Like he's a monster and he's giving Brock a run for his money. He's a monster and he's giving everybody a run for his money. And then something like Cena comes back and becomes Super Cena, right? Or or whoever comes back from an injury that lost the belt and and that's their kind of swan song, right? Uh, mm-hmm. it, it, like somebody new, uh, Big Show can be a threat again. But nobody wants to take the time to do it. Well, he also can't be a threat all the time. because No, but when's the last time he's been a real threat? Mm-mm. Now is the closest that we've seen in a while, I think. Just because somebody got injured, so he's not losing to the champion all the time. But still. Um, I'm just saying. I'm saying. Okay, back to the chat. Uh, should be Bo Dallas. Shouldn't be Kane from Buddy Landell. Thank you. Uh, I'll just leave that as is. I mean, I don't think that deserves any commentary. Um, uh, Good. Uh, Who should be Dolph Ziggler from Garza. And also agreeing on who shouldn't, Kane. So. um, No, no, Kane. Again, Kane, the way he went out, if Kane doesn't come back. Oh, what if Kane comes back? He's coming back during Taker Lesnar. He's going to come back May 19th. 
What is oh, he speaking do? of Taker Lesnar, I actually got a text message about that during the show. Can I read it? Okay. Sure. What is rope? It's <laughs> What? Why is rope? <laughs> Why is rope? Why is rope? Why is rope? <laughs> um, so Go I back. predict I predict Brock Lesnar is going to actually murder Undertaker at SummerSlam. <laughs> He's going to be the third in the iconic wrestling deaths, as they oh, always no. come in threes, and and a victim of Brock's escalating botched move injuries. You can't kill a dead man. You can't the kill hell? that man. Who the That's hell? what I'm going to reply with. <laughs> what? Why is your wait, 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 wait. Kill a dead man. Why is your mom pre- sending you predictions during wrestling? <laughs> I'm waiting for an answer. <laughs> I, I have none. I have no answer. All right. Well, if you have an answer for our question of the week, please hit us hashtag WMS Big Question. You too can win a copy of IWC's Proving Grounds for, including such greats as uh, well our guest tonight for the Indie Mayhem show, Britt Baker, Brittany Baker, debuting in a mixed tag with friend of the show Andrew ba- Palace, another friend of the show uh, Dylan Bostic, along with Ray Lynn. Uh, Jimmy Nuts was a part of the show. Uh, RJ City a part of that show. Uh, Proving Grounds for. Great show, uh, courtesy of IndieWrestling.us. Use the hashtag WMSBigQuestion, at Mayhem Show on the Twitters. Make sure you follow us, too, so we can tell you if you won or not. And uh, and, and you got a chance to yeah, win that. Turd. Fucking follow us. <laughs> okay, and if you happen to have purchased the, the title, Shit. we will work around that as well uh last week we had uh up for grabs was rwa's resurrection 2015 and we did have at least one reply here uh this one's from is it, the question mike uh, posed was how would you run a new uh wrestling show kind of akin to like ring of honor uh bringing a new show up on you know say destination america or or, or whatnot you know if you're going to a new station how do you introduce yourself uh, so Garza Ciro, he has so many names. Uh, says, uh, "How would you? Do that? As an ROH fan, I think ROH should promote which DVDs need to you need to go buy to get up to date, and which live shows are coming up so you follow their card build up. Uh, this applies to any promotion. Reference uh, what shows build up stuff and which shows are going to follow up. That was always the thing. Ring of Honor was a different model." You know, regardless of having some TV in the last few years, there's still a very DVD and direct-to-video. Uh, anytime I ask uh, Mr. Dombrowski, I'm like, so what, is this show for TV? What, what are they doing with this one? He's like, oh, no, it's for their, it's for their on-demand, and which he's referring to that ringside member thing online or the purchases or, or anything like that. You could just pay. It's like WWE Network. You could just pay for that and really just follow Ring of Honor that way. So that's their thing, and I wonder how much they get out of those versus how much they get out of TV. The TV, I think, is still not their primary business. But a big chunk of it, too. So, that's my thoughts on TV's that. TV's probably just getting the name out there. It is. It is. So they can do these shows. So you can do bigger shows in different... Um, it, it's getting them in different uh, 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 viewing areas, territories, you know. I mean, it's that exposure. Notice, they, they tour the places where there's TV, for the most part. Except for New York City, apparently. So... <laughs> Yeah, I, I saw. I know, Mike. I know. I know. I know the plight of being a, 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 a big appler. Uh, so, uh, so you was going to get a copy of Resurrection 2015. Good um, superhero named Big Appler. There you go. <laughs> I don't know about that, Bobby. That was uh, that was cousin Larry's superhero alter ego, the Big Appler. <laughs> cousin Larry Appleton. <laughs> Something ridiculous. Standing tall. We are making a lot of references that we are he's not going to get. Nope, nope. I'm sorry, youngins. And he just, he and, just a boy. He shouldn't have done that. And Damon. <laughs> uh, so on that point, so we're on the back. We're on the back cover of this uh, issue of Mayhem Magazine. Uh, before I get to uh, what we learned in wrestling, is there anything you guys want? Anything on your mind we want to hit up? I, seriously, I don't have a topic for this segment, but I wonder if there's anything on your mind you guys want to want to hit up before we move on to the end of the show. Hmm. This is the ill-planned part of the show. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll cut out the pauses. Dead air! Oh God, dead air! <laughs> okay, you know what? Uh, you know what needs to happen. We do. Oh, I want to address something. No, I don't want to address something, but we have this time. Uh, hey, can somebody get Hulk Hogan off of Twitter? Oh, yeah. Can someone oh, hack yeah. Hulk Hogan's oh. Twitter? I think that would be Hulk better, Hogan. sir. Can Hulk Hogan yes. not hack Ziggler's Twitter? Oh, 
Um, in my time hop today, speaking of Hulk Hogan, can I read my first tw- tweet from time hop today? What? Uh, okay. Yes, from, absolutely. from a year ago? Oh, this took a yeah. time. Um, okay, it is directed to Hulk Hogan. Today, today is his birthday. Oh, oh happy birthday, Ad Hulk That's Hogan. That's so depressing. In an unrelated note, happy Shark Week, Ad Hulk Hogan. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> Um, Speaking oh, of yeah. Shark Week, I don't have cable, and I like never watched Shark Week. But I was at somebody's house when Shark Week was happening, and Did fucking even... Batman was narrating the sh- the episodes. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Kevin Conroy talking about nice. sharks. Oh, that Batman! I, I thought had it was gonna a be huge, huge erection. Qu- question: Just when you, massive. When you went over to the person's house, did you bring them Shark Week presents? I didn't know it was Shark Week. Shark Week was sprung on me. Well, you gotta bring presents to Shark Week. What the fuck? I just fucking. God damn it. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, Hulk Hogan needs to get off Twitter. Uh, he, he Today, he um, retweeted a tweet. I know he does this all the time. Uh, somebody posted a picture of the game and Eminem. Eminem had a Hulk Hogan t-shirt, a Hulkamania t-shirt on. And Hulk, they said, uh, my friend's such a huge fan of, Hulk, of you, Hulk. Uh, please retweet this. And he did. <laughs> Not knowing it was Eminem. God. He's just a sad old man in denial. Like Hulk Hogan is equal to Bill Cosby at this point. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, I don't no. think not in crime, only in but, reaction. Yeah. Yes. No, no, yes. I, I'm just saying I don't think Hulk Hogan would himself appreciate that comparison. Speaking of references from uh, the eighties. Uh, <laughs> uh, apparently we have an email from young Mac Collins. Okay, please. Oh, please okay. read it. Please read it. Holy fuck, it's a bear! <laughs> yes, that is the entire email. Holy fuck, it's a bear. No, I'm um, <laughs> sorry, I saw a bear. <laughs> and in real life, bear? <laughs> uh, go, go ahead and read that there, Mr. Mad Mike. All right. Good evening, my fellow Mayhem Americans. Wow, so much to talk about in the world of pro wrestling. The greatness of Ultima Lucha, the seemingly never-ending grind trying to keep up with New Japan's G1 tournament, but there's one moment I simply cannot shake from my brain. Those damn young bucks. Um, Super kick! Oh, god damn it, Bobby. Um, hmm. uh, he, fe- he sends a link for people who haven't seen it, so I believe it's on our Facebook page as well. Um, it is a video of the young bucks throwing a super kick birthday party and them kicking a young child in the head. Uh, yes. I enjoyed this. this. I gotta say, I, I enjoyed this. And, uh, <laughs> Matt- in the head. Matt continues, this happened at a show over the weekend for the Insane Wrestling League in Southern California. I admit, I laughed my ass off. Actually, my thoughts while watching the first time were something like, oh, how cute, the bugs, are, the bucks are letting the kid kick him. Then the kid hits the ropes, I'm instantly thinking, oh my god, no. <laughs> yep, they went there. I must say, I'm shocked to see the universal praise for this little hilarious bit of business, especially in a world where a lot of folks are so strongly opposed to intergender matches. Doesn't this seem a bit hypocritical? I mean, if the Bucks can superkick nine-year-old kids, why can't we just embrace and enjoy intergender matches and get more out of them in major pro wrestling promotions? Peace. Mainstream Matt, home of the TNA Big Board. That's a really good point. Wait, wait, wait. So so what was his correlation between this? I'm sorry, I was too busy watching the thing again. <laughs> so what was the correlation? Why 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 is this mean we should be okay with intergender? Well, because it's everyone's watching it like a little kid versus two fully grown adults. Sorg, if you can hit a child, you can hit a woman. Come yes. on. Oh, same thing. How do you not in, see in, this? In the <laughs> Sexy in the context of pro wrestling. I got you. I got in you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got this. 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 So hey. women and children first to be super hey. kicked. Hey, I just want to say sexy star can take care of her damn self. Right? Yeah. This, this is the whole if, you know, if they're going to marry each other, what are they going to marry next? Turtles? Are they going to marry their <laughs> dog, Sorg? Wait, wait. It's how did we get that far? slope. I'm, I'm doing a bit. I think I don't. I, don't <laughs> I am all for gay marriage. I don't really have an opinion on this topic. I'm just saying words now. <laughs> I, I think I think you make the point though. Like we should be able to have men on women matches in yeah. WWE and. <laughs> yeah uh, I, you know you know I, we will not on wwe 
They will well, play I think it they too have safe. one tough enough tonight. What? Yeah, they have one tough enough tonight. Really? Because there's three guys and three girls left. Okay. So they had everyone pair off and do um uh do like little matches with well, each other. I, I think not and in the context of storylines or anything like that. Is that what you said? Yeah. They are not gonna do it. I don't think they will. I think they're gonna play safe. I think again, uh kind of looking at um um you know, kind of realizing it's like, wait, they're sponsored by Pepsi right now, Mountain Dew specifically, but Pepsi. They're gonna play it safe in the long run. Uh, and, and they're not going to venture down that because no matter how they do it, no matter how they do it, some PTC or something is going to respond to WWE and that'll be it. Right to censor. Parent teacher conference. <laughs> right. I mean, okay. I'm being facetious. I Parents genuinely don't know what that's I, okay. I really didn't know what that's the thing. Right. They're, they're the ones that the, the, the right to censor was based off of. Yeah. Because they kept they kept responding and they actually were trying to get sponsors off of yes. WWF at the time. I used to hate them so bad. Yeah, well, everybody did because Vince did his job. Yeah. So, yeah. But I, I mean, I really don't. I don't necessarily agree with that. Mm-hmm. I think it, I think if you just have someone, because it's not like it's not like UFC. Like you can't have man versus woman UFC fights because those are not staged or legitimate competition. Right. Like. Like, I think you could do it. And as long as you set the right context, I think the problem (laughs) is that WWE has had years upon years upon decades of just setting up women's wrestling as kind of a sideshow act. Right, right. Although we didn't, you know, whoa, 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 whoa. We're missing a big point to this. Uh, All right. Unless you look like China. Okay. You brought up the big point to this. (laughs) Uh, yeah. I, well, hey, you know what? I wonder, and the other question I have from this, and I know this is kind of offshooting from the basis of the show, but uh, say, okay, you're Ronda Rousey. No, okay, we're looking at Ronda Rousey, right? Ronda Rousey beats every woman out there. Mm-hmm. What would really keep her from, maybe we start doing an exhibition of her uh, in an equivalent weight class for men? She'd probably beat most of the guys, too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He's a tough lady. She could beat the fuck out of Josh Koscheck. Could she? <laughs> Probably, <laughs> yeah, actually. Um, but, but Josh not. Koscheck sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so he's the glass Joe of he's UFC. He's from my hometown. He's from my hometown, and he's a piece of shit. So, so the wait. Glass so, UFC. is he the one that used to come out the ICP? Is that the one uh, I'm thinking? Maybe he was from the first Ultimate Fighter, right? I think so. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I like that yeah, guy. A Damn it! Fucking piece uh, of shit. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, I, you know, I could I could see that. I could see them doing a um uh doing intergender UFC matches uh you know, as long as they stick to the weight class. Yeah. I mean, is, I mean really is there on that I know there's there's you're a more technical one into UFC. Where's Don? Where's Papuga? Or whatever. Yeah. Or where's Papuga Bunja? Uh around here. We need we need we need to have a side chat with that. At some point here. Um, and somebody's sending me porn on Facebook. That's amazing. Uh, <laughs> that is distracting. I need Just like the old days. Just like the old days. Um, I used to watch porn during the show. If the <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're talking about. That explains the erection. If they mostly. did that, if they did that, do you what, think... Watch porn during the... No. If UFC did the, the, the intergender, do you think WWE would follow suit? Do you think that would open the door to it? Without going mm. attitude era, I don't. I I think I don't think it would ever happen in UFC. But I think if it did, then obviously WWE would follow suit. But because it, like because UFC is legitimate, like it's legitimate fighting. If it be, if it if UFC were able to do it and have it be morally and publicly accepted, which I think would be more difficult because mm. it's not it's not stage fighting. Like it's not a show. It's just two people literally beating the crap out of each other. If that was able to happen on UFC and be accepted, then you could do it in WWE easily. But I don't see that happening. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. On that note, uh, I think we'll go ahead. Oh, wait, oh, well, here's, let me, let me append that a little bit. I think the issue is WWE is too heavy handed to do it the right way. Yes, because the indies that have done it well, 
AIW, others, and we've seen that we've talked about at length the ones that did not do it well, Resistance Pro, uh, with some of the people involved, Darcy Dixon. Um, um, Lucha Underground has done it on television. That's true. Very well. Yeah. If, if Lucha Very was on well. a major network, I think it would push WWE or TNA to do it more. Like right. if it was on like a Spike TV or something that more people have access to, I think that would be a good set, like stepping stone. Like if it goes on Netflix and people talk about how much they love Sexy Star and how much they love Eva Lise, that mm-hmm. could springboard stuff. Right. And especially with often enough, they show the guys training with the girls, like grappling and doing moves on each other. Like I think it's all that's where you have to lay the groundwork. You can lay the groundwork in NXT too. Uh, yeah, I was I was just gonna bring that up. I was like, let's yeah. do it in NXT where nobody's watching and we don't have sponsors. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's I mean, not true anymore. I, I know it's not true, but everybody's I, I, watching. I feel like that's the place you can do it. Considering WWE Network has what they have from the '80s in the um, um, domestic abuse, women bashing, uh, uh, racially questionable uh, dialogue uh, throughout the '80s and the '90s into the Attitude Era. Uh, I, I think you can do some of that other stuff and, and maybe try this out a little bit. So that's my thought on that. All right, let's get to what you guys learned from wrestling this week. Who wants to go first? I'll go first, Sorg. Mr. Mike, Mr. Mad Mike, Mr. Poughkeepsie Mike. I, I, I learned that, that we lost Lucha Underground and John Stewart within a week and and TV just kind of sucks right now. There's no <laughs> point until October when Arrow and Flash come back. Yes. Yes, I'll accept that. And Shield. And Walking Dead. And Shield. Or Shield. And Shield. And Shield. Sure, and shield. shield. Why not Shield? Quake. Who loves Quake? Everyone loves Quake. Quake? Quake. Oh, oh yeah, Quaker yeah. Oat. I got you. I got you. I like Quaker Oats. I'm with you. I forgot she had the name. Uh, Bobby, what did you learn? I learned that you don't cover up Dalton's face when he's trying to sell his T-shirts. What? Yeah, he got a new T-shirt on ROH. Okay. And the boys covered his face with feathers, and he yelled at them and said, Don't cover my face when I'm trying to sell them my, my shirt. It was awesome. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. <laughs> DJ Lunchbox, what would you learn from wrestling this week? What I learned from wrestling this week was something I actually heard on the Mayhem show this week. And it is one of the best summations of this character that I have ever heard. And uh, it was something that Mad Mike said earlier. And what he said was, Roman Reigns is best when he is a punctuation to a sentence that Dean Ambrose has started. Yeah. And that is fucking awesome. I can't take full credit for that. I think I read something similar to that via Brandon. It is spectacular, yeah. and I am giving you the credit. I don't okay. care. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> awesome, awesome. And uh, from everywhere else, Ed Burke learned on the Twitters, he says he learned that the WWE doesn't know what a PCB is. <laughs> he sent me the Wikipedia page? Why, why, why can't I? There I am. Oh, no, not Sorry. another one. <laughs> Wait, no, wait. It, it, it's just it's just a polychlorobenzene. It, it's like a cancer causing chemical. Mm. Oh. So take that I'm out. I'm gonna you will. kill it with a lethal dose of divas. Well, at least it's not. Is it's not the other thing. Uh, Facebook. Yeah. Uh, lear- Zach learned that uh, N64 wrestling games don't age well. No, uh, No Mercy does age well. Thank you very much. Also, WWE Revenge or WCW Except Revenge. Except for cage matches. Well, were you yeah, watching right submissions so already when you were watching the show back in the day? <laughs> <laughs> Topical. Mm-hmm. Also, from uh, the show. <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> you got it. I get it. I'm <laughs> slow. I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? What show back in the day? You're talking about the pornography. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Cars learned that uh, from California. I learned that miracles happen once in a while when you believe. Wait, I learned that the print. I learned that from the Princess Diaries. Um, oh, I learned that Rey Mysterio <laughs> is somehow still capable of wrestling a good match. And isn't that that all that? Isn't that 
that it's all really about something like that uh kiko that dj styles can carry anyone into a good match alex also learned the best kind of birthday party is a super kick party oh because a super pick party go quick um what that? did you just say <laughs> <laughs> the super kick party don't stop <laughs> super quick party don't quick is that what yeah! you said i mean hold on he Let tried to sneak by <laughs> sorg is hung over from chachi place <laughs> what <laughs> Um. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not my sending me. From porn. the chat room, RWA Pro learned that if wrestlers don't learn to bring music, they're all going to come out to Barbie Girl. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh. Uh. <laughs> Sherman learned that the absolutely positively no one has ever hit the super prey off the top rope, and no one <laughs> likes the pain and nuanced fighting capabilities of fighter Hayabusa except for me. Is this the Triple Mania thing? No, that was uh, from Chachi Place. Oh, okay. <laughs> he used, really? He used uh, fi- uh, no, it was, uh, the the other one looks like Hulk Hogan. Oh. And to the top rope when you land on oh. both knees. Oh, that's, that's right. You, you played that that uh, yeah. WCW NWO World thing, World Tour. No, thing. that was pro wrestling. That was oh, you played pro wrestling. Yeah, oh, that's you right. Pro wrestling. Amazing. Starman. Uh, okay, Super Garza learned play. that uh, Toro. Y- this is getting exhausting. Uh, Toro Yano's gimmick is he's kryptonite to great wrestlers and and a roll up specialist. Yokoola learned. I don't know. This is something about Kenta. Uh, Daniel learned that Kevin Dunn loves body shaming wrestlers. Hmm. Uh, Matt Collins learned that AJ Styles is our generation's Ric Flair. He can get a good to great match out of anyone. Garza sends a picture. Kyle says he learned that Steph, Stephen Amell got over more in one <laughs> segment than <laughs> the great Kali and his entire career. And more talent, too, from Alex. Oh, well, yeah, there's AJ Styles in a Ric Flair garb. That's what the picture was. Thank you. I learned... Uh, what did you learn? Geez, wrestling-wise... Um, 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 did I watch wrestling this week? Shit. <laughs> Sorg learned that playing video games for 24 hours is very tiring. <laughs> it is. Very, very tiring. Oh, it's so much fun to watch a three-way in no mercy WWF. Thank you, uh, Dan Hooven <laughs> and Alex, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Andrew Palace for coming out and doing that. Uh, that was Thank a blast. Thank you for clarifying the end of that sentence, Sorg. <laughs> so much fun to watch a three-way, guys. What's up? For well, on the, submission for the kids. <laughs> guys! <laughs> guys! WrestlingMayhemShow.com! Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com! 412-206-WMS0 is the hotline. You can hit us up at Mayhem Show on the Twitters. We're on the Facebook. We're on the Google+. Plus. We are on the Facebook groups. That's where a lot of the chat's happening. Do you want a Merry Mayhem meetup in your town? It's probably going to happen in Pittsburgh. Uh, stay there. Uh, give us some uh, vibes on that. Uh, do you want to get hey, together? Can we get Bobby to, to get in his car and do this, mm-hmm. this, do this damn Sorg, thing? I mm. can do that. Sorg, if any Mayhemers are going to take over, let me know. There you go. You, you're going to do a Merry Mayhem meetup? Yes, even if it's just of one. <laughs> well, actually, seriously, <laughs> seriously, if you have someplace you're hitting up before or after the show, um, let's let's get that out there because there I, has I to be there, going- there has oh. to be somebody it, going to New York and checking out Takeover that listens to this show. Are you that person? Let us know, and you can meet the great Mad Mike, and maybe he'll have a present for you. I don't know. No, if if you do see me at Takeover and you address me as Mad Mike, I will be wearing my Bailey purple shirt, so I will stand out like a sore grape thumb. There you go. There you go. In true Mayhem me. show tradition, he will jerk you off with his mouth. Mm. Or Just let like you Eamon. chop me one or the other. Just or like have it. in previous shows. I'll have a Shark Week present. He will <laughs> jerk you off with his mouth. Well, there you go. If that hasn't scared you away. And check out everything else. Uh, IndieWrestling.us. Please check it out. Again, we talked to a lot of great people. It's a new store. Getting the word out. Uh, I'm hoping you guys uh, 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 dig it. And we're going to try to do some fun stuff here coming up. Right now, it's just a store. And we got the social media. But we're going to try to build up around it. What's that? Sork said dig it. Dig it! 
Yeah, dang it, thank, thank you so much to our live chat room, including the fellows, including Garza, Wheels, Matt, Mainstream Matt is his name, Super Kick Party, Bull Dempsey, I'm just reading names in the chat, Buddy Landell, what's up? Thank you so much, live at WrestlingMayhemShow.com if you want to join us and join the Mayhem Live. Uh, do that there, uh, BasicSickness.com for the music that's going to kick us out of the show. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.